State Television Company of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armenia Abraham Almed, with the post National Council of Artsakh resident. The National Council of Western Armenia invites you to the event to the memory of Misak and Medine Manushan. The amendment of the Constitution will cause to a very big danger. We end our surnames. Battle of Arara, forgotten pages of Armenian history. Two historical documents about Hamshan. The chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, met with the people of Artsakh. On January 27, the chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, met with the people of Artsakh, and the, the attendees discussed the concern related to the status of the displaced persons, their social and legal problems, and a number of issues related to the solving of the problems. During the meeting, the chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, stated that he will continue to apply to the European Court of Human Rights, requesting compensation for the material and physical damages caused to the families forcibly displaced from Artsakh. Armenak Abrahamian's office will operate the collection of applications and necessary documents from the citizens of Artsakh. It is worth mentioning that Armenak Abrahamian in 2022 in this regard has already collected and sent about 40 applications of people displaced from Shushi. The court case regarding the issue is ongoing. The video recording of the meeting between the chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, and the people of Artsakh is available on the YouTube page on Facebook pages of Western Armenia TV. The National Council of Western Armenia and the Armenian Veterans Association invite you to the event dedicated to the memory of Misak and Meline Manushan. The subject of the event is the spirit of resistance in France. The meeting will take place on February 19 at the Mediterranean edition. The main speaker, Armenak Abrahamian, president of the National Council of Western Armenia. The event will be held according to the announcement. The amendment of the constitution, which is imposed by the aggressive remarks of the enemy state, cannot reflect the wishes of the entire Armenian people. The general goal of Armenian nation is the restoration of historical justice, empowerment and sovereignty. For centuries we have been fighting and struggling for our national identity, historical justice, integrity and independence of the motherland. Adoption of a new constitution, which will obviously try to solve the problem of the legal destruction of the constitutional foundation of the independent statehood of Armenia, assumed before Moscow, Ankara and Baku. In particular, the abolition of the mention of the declaration adopted in 990, the abolition of the constitutional confirmation of Armenia being a sovereign state, erasing the traces of the state's history, the legal confirmation of historical inheritance, the denial of the mention of the historic decision on December 1, 1989, the reunification of Armenia with Artsakh, the denial of the mention of the genocide committed against Armenia and Western Armenia 100 years ago, the guards' fortress surrounded without firing a single shot even. This time, too, the enemies of Armenia are trying to finally destroy the statehood of Armenia with the new Russian-Turkish repartition, which they failed to do 100 years ago after surrendering Artsakh at the hands of Eastern Hayastan through lies and deception, intimidation, condition, defeat. Armenia and Artsakh remained the Armenian nation as a collective, and identity did not disappear at the cost of the self-sacrifice and dedication of many devotees and the united struggle of the Armenian nation. The surname can tell a lot about the Armenian ancestors, their social status or occupation. The word surname is explained as the name of a nation. But at the very beginning of the origin of the surname, there were no national names because people lived in small groups separated from each other and everyone knew each other well. Before the emergence of surnames, Armenians used genealogical structures to distinguish people of the same time. Along with the emergence of cities, when craftsmanship was separated from agriculture, trade also developed and people had to move from one location to another. It was then that there was a need to create surnames because it was no longer possible to recognize people according to their characteristic or so-called adjective names. At the time, along with the names, the names of the place where the given person was born was used, for example, Ananya, Shiragatsi, Grikor, Tatevatsi, etc. Activity or profession of a person was used together with the name of the person, for example, Magartish, Nagash, Grikor, Magistros, etc. In the course of time, already in the ancient and middle centuries, the noble families definitely had surnames, Arzuni, Amatuni, Mamikonyan, Rashtuni, etc. For example, the Arzuni family, the fam Mam Mamikonyan family, the Rashtuni family, etc. 
The surnames of the inhabitants of Western Armenia deserve special attention. That part of the country at some point become part of the Ottoman Empire. The Eastern Legion continued to fight alongside the Allied states until the liberation of Kilika. After the liberation of Kilika in 1919, France decided to divide the Legion of East into an Armenian and Assyrian Legion. However, the Armenian Legion did not achieve its ultimate goal, which was the defense and protection of an independent Armenian state in the lands of Western Armenia. After recognizing Armenia as a de jure independent state on May 11, in 1920, the Treaty of Sivar, signed on August 10, 1920, ended the war between the Allies and Turkey, which recognized their right by their own ratification. For the independence and sovereignty of the Armenian people and the creation of Armenian state under the auspice of the League of Nations, Allied States forces moved this Armenian national home to Tallinn, region of Eastern Armenia. The Armenian Legion was this band in 1920 and its members dispersed to different countries, France, Lebanon, Syria and Eastern Armenia. The Armenian Legion is a notable and heroic chapter of Armenian history which deserves to re be remembered and honored by the world and particularly by the Armenian people. The Armenian Legion bears witness to the courage, skill and loyalty of Armenian soldiers who fought for their nation and cause against insurmountable odds and enemies. The Armenian Legion was also a symbol of the Armenian spirit and identity that survived and thrived despite genocide and oppression. The Armenian Legion has been a source of pride and inspiration for generations of Armenians who have continued to fight and strive for justice and recognition of the genocide committed against Armenians, as well as for the independence and security of the Armenian state. The Armenian Legion is the heritage of the Armenian people which should never be forgotten. Two documents found by researcher Errol Ketanji in the Ottoman archives of the Prime Minister's office in Istanbul contain very important information about Hamshan and Hamshan Armenians. The first of the documents was written on June 1, 1914. This document sent by the Ottoman general staff of the given period to the Ministry of Internal Affairs is stated that the inhabitants of some villages located in the Hamshan region, villages whose names are given one by one and are Muslim converted from Armenians known as Hamshan. In this writing, it is mentioned that the population of the villages mentioned one by one in the first document, although they are Armenian by origin, they have converted. The common goal of these two writings is to prevent Hamshan Armenians from giving in the deceptions of the missionaries due to the naivety and illiteracy. The material is available in its entirety at Western Armenian TV. This was all for today. Goodbye. Mush, mush,